Hello everyone, I'm back with another creature animation. Another playable race from the Omega Horizon, an upcoming tabletop RPG by Paleo Gaming. Before we continue, make sure to pay respects to YouTube's Holy Trinity. Like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Help me spread the word about this channel and share it with people who might be interested in seeing this type of content and hopefully learning something as well. YouTube's algorithm likes that stuff. I already spoke about Heather, the fantastic young artist who made the other creature design I have animated in one of my previous videos. Click the card in the upper left corner to check it out if you haven't already. Anyways, she is behind this piece as well. To be fully honest, this particular animation is my favorite one. Even though I exaggerated the movement for the sake of creature's expression, it still looks very much lifelike despite the fact that it started off as a 2D illustration. Heather was nice enough to give me a hand here and edit her original work by drawing the creature's mandible in an open position. Even though I had to repaint and clone all over it to fit the upper jaw, having the extra work done by the original artist was an immense help. I spoke in one of the previous videos already about how hard it is to copy another artist's style for multiple reasons, such as brush and stylus settings, types of strokes, workflow and so on. And that's especially hard for an unexperienced illustrator such as myself. Even more so because I have no experience whatsoever in creature design and illustration. My thing is inanimate objects, and even then I tend to simplify the design. Not due to lack of technique or something, but due to way of thinking. I'm an engineer by trade, and whenever I illustrate an item, I think of how it can be used in the real world. When it comes to the prep work for this animation, I first had to separate the elements I intended to animate into different layers. The head and the body, of course. But here's the tricky part. The inside and the back part of the lower jaw will be hidden by the upper jaw, and the part closer to the eye of the beholder will be ever so slightly covering the upper jaw. That means that it had to be separated into two layers. The inside and the right side is one, and the left side is the other. You will see that I also drew the eye separately, even though I didn't use it in this waiting screen loop, but I just might use it on the final cinematic for their upcoming Kickstarter. Speaking of which, I'll leave the links to Paleo Gaming's Discord server, website and social media in the description, so you can get more info about Omega Horizon. There is a download link to the current version of the rulebook on their Discord server, so you can actually catch a glimpse on what kind of game it is, and, if you're interested, join in on the playtesting. As well as when it comes to the previous creature animation, I had to research a bit about reptiles and their movement. This race, the Regalians, are large humanoid reptiles, so the best reference were Komodo dragons and crocodilian species. After watching a few videos I had a good idea on how to approach this animation, so I took it to After Effects. From this point on it was pretty straightforward. I placed the head along with all of its elements in a separate composition and made that composition move so it follows the breeding pattern. But there was another reason to put the head in a separate composition, and you will see that later in the video. I used the liquify filter to shape the composition mesh so that it appears like it's looking towards the camera or you as the viewer. You will be able to see that final outcome at the end of the video, so please just wait patiently. Just like in the other videos, I used the slow motion smoke and dust particles in a screen blending mode at 30% opacity on top of everything to give it some atmosphere. Also, since the lighting is a big part of the art piece itself, I masked and feathered a light blue solid color layer to make it appear as if the rim light is coming from the back of the creature, and another dark blue solid color layer to darken the rest of the composition and guide the eyes of the viewer towards the important stuff. I will let you enjoy the process along with some cool music by Nomen and come back at the end of the video for the final word.
thanks for staying here until the end. I hope I gave you some insights in the animation process and I hope you learned something new. I can't express enough how much I appreciate you being here. Once again, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon not to miss any of the future uploads. I'll try to keep up the pace and upload twice a week. Also, leave a comment if you have some suggestions or insights. Once I'm done with the animations for Omega Horizon, I'll be moving on to the item illustration I'm actively making for my upcoming Kickstarter, which will be a D&D and Pathfinder supplement. Speaking of which, make sure to visit my website and check out Crit Chart and Fumble Table, the freebie supplements for D&D and Pathfinder I have placed in the download section. And if I may suggest following the links in the description to find out more about Paleo Gaming's upcoming podcast and Kickstarter, and of course to see more of Heather's work. Until next time, this is Crafty and I bid you farewell.